Yeah, that's weird. Box car with a bunch of bags in it. Beans. Just bags of beans. I bet some have already. Wow. This one fell down here. I've never seen that before. Stuff falling out of a railroad car. Look at that. They might think we did it if they... Yeah. Dang. Some of them have been falling out. It says unload this side. Yeah, right. Of course. Wow. Yeah, because you can tell where it was stacked up higher inside here. It's not very high here in the middle. Boy. Somebody's been getting navy beans. If you locked in that box, Corey, at least you'd be eating and farting. <laughs> that is That's an old box car. I bet that one's full of beans, too. Oh, the other door's open, too. Oh, isn't on the other side? Yeah, but just cracked. Hmm. Wow, looks like somebody broke into this thing. They're stealing the Navy beans from them. These are big bags. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want them to think we did it. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of... A lot of beans. Oh, man, that goes... I wonder where beans are going like that. A human consumption. Anyway, that's the fart box car. This shoestring here, we are in Galesburg, Illinois. Yep, Jawtooth heard a train coming, so he took off like he was running from the cops. Anytime Jawtooth hears, sees, or smells a train, he is gone. He is on it like a kid on candy. Look at him. <laughs> At Joe Tooth. We are here in Galesburg, Illinois. Yeah, he heard that crossing ding, 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 and he took off like Flash Gordon. Well, might be a. It's way down there. Oh, is it? It's coming really slow. Damn. Well, they sure like to warn you well in advance. Yeah, they did. It was like a mile away when they first warned us about it. <laughs> he took off like so Flash one, Gordon. One engine and maybe ten cars or so, something like that. All right. Yeah, look at the old Burlington route. Yeah, this yard in Galesburg, I hate it. I hate Galesburg. You can go five different directions out of here on the freight train. But now, if I'm going northbound, I'll go take city bus up to the Walmart. And there's a siding. The northbound, southbound line is next to Walmart. And there's a siding. And every day they bring out a freight train that they made up in the yard down here. The yard's about half mile up. And they take the crew off of it in that siding next to Walmart. And for about five, six hours, they leave the crew off of it. And the train sits there. So you got five hours to find a good car. And about, oh, sundown, oh, seven, eight o'clock, they'll put the crew on. And they go north. And they crew change in lacrosse. And then lacrosse, they go on up through Red Wing into many hopeless Minneapolis through St. Paul along the Mississippi River, that Burling Northern Santa Fe route. I got a friend that's a conductor on that route from Northtown to lacrosse. But lacrosse, I like lacrosse because then you got the old Dillman E Railroad that crosses there too. You got two choices out of lacrosse. But, yeah, lacrosse, I, I got some videos there about two years ago. Remember when we got that first COVID check? That's where I was. So whenever that was. It's supposed to be the museum. Uh, it's supposed to open at noon. It said noon. 
but since we're back in the stupid COVID rules again, it may not be. Yep. Yeah, here we go. Ah, <sighs> I guess I can look at the website there. Yeah, I was gonna show the old barons that don't exist anymore. It was like prior to 1950, 1940s. The bearings they had, they got bearings called Timkin, T-I-M-K-I-N bearings, but these old gentlemen, they pulled up. Oh, I can't get that one up. They are hard. There we go. You see the worker, see the bearing in there? The worker poured oil down in there and it, it came up to about about this level on the inside and that bearing just rolled around in the oil but of course it's been sitting here probably 50 years yep yeah, back in the day I bet they opened these here too Ugh. man look how small that door is Back in the day, you hear them here riding the rods. Well, there's no way you could do it on this one, but they're talking about the brake rods, how they'd lay up on top of the brake rods. Call it riding the rods. Yeah, under me, you see a wood floor. No more of them. Yeah, you still see one or two every now and then, but uh, back out. Uh, see if the coupler is any different. Sometimes they gotta do. Nope. Of course, the coupler is replaced so often you really don't see any of the original ones, no matter how old the car is. There's the brake. They're all down here now. Let's get up top. There's the road going underneath the tracks. See, zoom in on the Agua Tower. Yep. Hey, y'all look at this guy. He is addicted to trains. I'm not sure who he is. Nah. Just kidding. There's your overhead signal right there. Of course, when they stop for that signal, they won't cover that crossing down there and block traffic. They'll just stop shy of that until they get a green or yellow to proceed into the yard. That yard signal, too, you got the one on, well, my right, but the left pointing that way, that's a yard signal. The one on the bottom for the tracks. But... As you go down, you'll have another signal that means something else. So, anyway, this is, I believe, yeah, Amtrak station. There's some old boys out front. Or gals. Anyway, ho hopefully a train will come up and stop. I told Jawtooth I'd use my zoom and see if I could get, see a signal on. Uh, well, through this screen, I do not. Well, when I watch the video on TV, or y'all probably see something. I don't see anything on. Yeah, I, I don't see anything on. Refrigerated boxcar. 
They got like meat and vegetables and produce in that. Well, wow, Wisconsin Central Limited. Well, with all of them being the same type car, and that's a a yard switcher, he's probably all that's going to the same place. They all got the same product in each box car. Now the tank that ends up being a different cut. That's where the classification of uh, took place where they split right there at that tank there's I think they more iron ore cars they go up northern Minnesota there's a bunch of iron iron ore they make little pellets out of it then they further refine it into iron down the line and then into steel yeah I can smell it iron ore pellets have their own distinctive smell is uh where another cut took place at that hopper right there it's like it was just one there and then they cut it again and added a box car he'll eventually stop and start backing that stuff He's just pulling it out and he's going to back it down another track. Well, that reefer's running. Hear it? Auto rack. Loaded with cars too. Fifteen cars per auto rack. Yeah, each of those cars has 15 automobiles in it. Five vehicles and three layers.
Yep, and wait, there's more on top. Pushing back into the yard. That's a local switch engine down in from the yard. We're about two miles north of the yard, so he's pulling out of the yard, stopped. Guy on the back will switch tracks and he'll back. That'd be a good place to camp out while you're waiting on your train down there. Till it's dry over there. Man, that's a perfect spot to... Let's see if I can get up, up that big hill. Sugars. Ah. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, I hear something. It's a shoestring coming. Ding, 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 ding. Hello, Oscar the Grouch lived down there. No, he lives in a can. And wait, and wait, there's more. No, I'm not using his trademark. in the yard. This is north of Galesburg. All the bypass trains that don't go into the yard use this rail. This is BNSF bypass on the north side of town. Yeah, what do you think about got all these houses around here and they don't want anybody to blow the horn at this very busy intersection. in the yard. All they do is crew chain.
Yeah, that's got to be a bypass for them auto racks so they don't clog the yard. They just crew change somewhere out of town. <laughs> what was that? As soon as I turned on the camera, you farted. <laughs> this is the Galesburg, Illinois yard while we're down here. God, as soon as I hit the camera, you went. <laughs> you must have forced that one out. They do hurt some of them. <laughs> I bet everybody else is laughing right now. See how big the yard is. This is a first overpass. If you look on Google Maps, we're on Third or Fourth Avenue overpass. Yeah. Like the last overpass, I think that's the middle overpass. I can't see it in the screen right now, but oh, maybe that's it. Oh, there's a shop way down there, I believe. That's where I had to walk that one time. Then in 1999, I rode into here and got off. Uh, Star Wars Episode One: Phantom Menace was coming out. This was like May so and so, 1999, and. I slept right somewhere right in here so I could go see the movie that day and only like two people walked by me when I was sleeping right here. Let's see if I can look through that hole here. Almost. This is looking back like towards M track. Nah, it won't focus right. Is your is your butt all right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we made it okay. Got an anesthesiotomy. There's. I wonder if they put containers on here. I don't know of this being an IM facility, but that whole and I've never seen one out on the rails all empty like this. Maybe add in the comments. If they, I don't see no crane to put any on either. Anyway, BNSF Gales Bird Yard. We'll have to get uh, the other end of the yard, maybe. All right. Hey, there's shoestring down there waving. See the shadow? A hobo shadow. Some iron ore pellets. That's your iron ore coming out of northern Minnesota. Iron ore. Yep, out of northern Minnesota, up near Superior in that area. UP of Michigan. Boy, I bet that weighs more than coal. That's why it's not loaded all the way. It exceeds 80,000 pounds of the earth. Them cars might be 65,000 pound cars. I feel the ground shaking. I don't know if that fence is making my camera blurry or... Yeah, those little pellets are about, oh, big as really small grapes.
Well, we'll go on to the next and final scene. Well, that's about it. I got enough for a full video. I'm gonna sign out. Make sure, I've never done this, but make sure you hit subscribe and like. And if you don't mind, share a video today. Uh, anyway, uh, me and Jawtooth are going to sign out. My next video will be riding. I'm going to catch out tonight or tomorrow morning. I'll try to catch out during the day, but I'm not going to say where. But my the next video after this one, I will be riding again. Thank God. Oh, my God. You are going to like that video. So stay tuned. Hold on to the seat of your pants. We're going for a ride.